Hey friends, welcome back to Vince and Gigi's Super Channel G, and we just got through reviewing these incredible giant action figures from Godzilla vs. Kong. They look absolutely incredible. This is the 11 inch Mecha Godzilla, the giant Mecha Godzilla we just did. And then of course we have Kong, and we have Godzilla, and just for some size reference, this is the six inch Mecha Godzilla, and this is the 11 inch, it's huge. And today we're gonna be doing this mega heat ray Godzilla with lights and sounds, and is absolutely incredible. And this is actually 13 inches tall. Look how much taller he is than the other action figures. You're not gonna want to miss this incredible review of this absolutely astounding action figure. And so it has accessories and looks just absolutely incredible. And then check this out. Just so amazing. You're not gonna wanna miss this. Whoa, I'm knocking everybody over. So guys, before we get started, if you've not already subscribed to our channel, please hit that subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell next so you're notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know where in the world you are watching from. Give us a big thumbs up if you like Godzilla or Kong or Mega Godzilla or all of the above. And guys, yeah, share this video with anybody who you think would enjoy it. So what do you say we go ahead and get started? Right now. What is up, Vincent G? Vincent Gigi, Super Channel G. Super Channel G. Gigi. Vincent Gigi from Super Channel G. Super Channel G. Vincent Gigi on Super Channel G. So tight. Don't stop doing what you're doing. Congratulations on all your success. Congratulations on everything. I will see you on the TV. On Super is this great all right friends welcome back to vincent gigi's super channel g and we're gonna dive right on into this mega heat ray godzilla with lights and sounds look at this intense battle action and straight from the blockbuster movie has a button right here to not only shoot out this mega heat ray right here but also the lights and sounds the eyes light up and look at the spines go down like this and we even have this soldier minifigure included. Now, definitely not to scale because this uh, heave right here is probably more or less about the right size, maybe a little bit too big, but he definitely would not fit in there. So anyway, that's just for fun so we can aim these at and I bet you it's gonna be pretty darn awesome. So let's take a look at the back of this awesome action figure because the package is just Unbelievably gorgeous. And look at this. Power up. Heat ray lights and sounds. Absolutely. Look at there. You press that button right there. And then looks just so great and comes with one soldier minifigure. And he's basically just something we're just going to be firing at. And so, even though um, all of these MonsterVerse, Godzilla vs. Kong action figures say essentially the same thing on the back. Let's take one last look and let's read what it says about Legends collide as Godzilla and Kong, the two most powerful forces of nature, clash in a spectacular battle for the ages. The monster war rages on the surface and deep within our world as a spectacular secret realm of the Titans known as the Hollow Earth is revealed. Okay, let's cut him on out of here. Let's see how awesome he is. And this looks like it's actually in his leg. So, let's get our handy dandy little scissors. Cut him on out. And we will begin with this side right over here. Making sure we don't accidentally cut our Gogeta. Oof, bad angle. Let's start from over here. There we are. There's at least his arm. Free. And then this looks like it goes all the way through on both sides. So let's come back over here. And let's cut it this way. There we are. And who knows, that might, oh no, his feet. Wow. There's some big ones that are attached to his feet. So we're probably gonna wanna cut this bottom 
And we'll use a knife for this, because I definitely don't want to just rip it open. Wow, it's got some assembly instructions on the bottom. And then, I guess I had never even noticed that, and maybe, who knows? Maybe it's more than just this one. But it gives you the assembly, it's basically just a tatch tail is shown. That's the whole assembly. And here is Mega Punching Kong with lights and sounds. And really, that's the only one we're missing for this whole set. Otherwise, we have the entire set of Playmates Toys, Godzilla vs. Kong action figures, which I've absolutely loved reviewing here on our YouTube channel. And let's cut our Godzilla out Oops, from the bottom. Wow, something came flying out at us. And here we are. We are literally just gonna cut these tabs right here. And we should be able to get them out pretty easily. Right, here we go. One, and I don't know if we need to do all of them, but whatever. Oops, let's see about that. Oh, the tail. I'm like, that's the part we're missing. And I guess we do have to do all of them. I'm gonna drop the scissors on the ground. So, here we are. Let's get this last piece for the tail. And we will be golden. Perfect. Here we are. We'll set this box aside. There we go, perfect. Okay, so that's the only action figure we have left after this Godzilla. And give me a second. Okay, and this is what flew out of the bottom. It tells you all about basically just assembly, where the batteries go, um, where they're at, activation, and then insert heat ray projectile into mouth. Do not aim at either face. Projectile launches from mouth when holding down button on the action figure. All right. And before I forget, we still need to get our projectiles out of the box and our minifig. So I guess I got to open this too right here. So if I get a little overzealous and completely forget to even take them out. Here we are. Okay, so this looks like it might be a little easier than I first thought. Perfect. And it just kind of just popped on out of there. There we are. Oh, he just fell right on out. Check that out. Okay, let's get our projectile missiles. And these we can probably just have them slide out, I guess. If we lift this up, it should just slide out. Perfect. Okay. Set all this aside, and let's take a look at our Godzilla first and foremost. And I'm like, hmm, I'm wondering about that tail that I see right there. But okay. So here is our Godzilla. I was like, is this a button? And maybe not. Okay, cool. So, there we are. Let's take a look at this head sculpt. His head does not move anywhere at the neck and looks like the jaw does move, but only when we press this button right here. Okay, um, I'm digging the colors. And here's something that's absolutely different about this Godzilla right off the bat. Um, oh, I see what these are. This is where I'm sure the screws are. So if this popped out, there would have been exposed screws there like there are on the other action figure of Godzilla. Uh, if I have it right here, I'll show you. Okay, here we are. The, otherwise, they'd be looking like that. So, that definitely makes sense. We have a speaker right here under the right arm. Uh, this is our button. And one cool difference besides, obviously, the height. Look at this obvious height difference right here. Is that these arms, you'll notice these arms, all they do is turn forward and backwards. These are the same, however, they do kind of go out slightly 
which is a definitely improvement of the uh, over the other one even though it's not tons it's still more articulation look at that we can turn the wrists and these are soft plastic here and let's see if I can just this should just slide out and it did these legs they go this far forward this far back this one's kind of stuck there we go loosen it up come this far back this far forward and we do have an ankle joint that does turn so that's awesome we do have painted talons right there on his nails and we do have gills right here for the head sculpt and the neck sculpt look at that Let's see the teeth. Let's see how, how much it differs from our other Godzilla. You know what, let me put him right here and then we can zoom in. And then on stand up, I haven't put the tail on, so he can stand up tall. And there we go. Let's get it in focus. There we are. The teeth, the paint job's kind of just smeared on there. Where this one's a little bit more like teeth and the tongue right there. Look at that. Okay, so this one's a little more rushed as far as the teeth are concerned. All right, so let's see what it sounds like when we press this button here on the side. The eyes light up. Like this one, it goes <laughs> All right, so the lights come on one at a time. First this one, watch this. And then, it, then they turn off there it was. And they turn off in reverse order. Very cool. One more time. So it's, it's two different ones. All right, cool. We have two different roars that come out. Okay, friends, I'm going to dim the lights so we can see exactly how incredible this lights and sounds looks. Very nice. And so now, let's turn the lights off completely and see what it looks like. If I can find it. Awesome. Let's put his tail on, which actually looks very short, and this is what it looks like right here. I'm gonna pop this right on this ball joint. I'm like, let's see. Hopefully, this isn't really tough to put on. All right, give me a second, guys. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I'm having an extremely difficult time. Just putting this tail on because the joint for it is um, well it's difficult it's obviously big but while I was looking for, at, at that I'm like let me compare these two Godzilla's again and look at the difference in this tail especially the length so if I put it completely side to side got this one is tremendously longer yet this is the shorter Godzilla and this one's like a short little stubby tail but um, for comparison, look at the height difference. We're gonna put this one on for a moment. Look at this, and this one should be really easy to just insert right here. Just turn a little bit. And look how long this tail is on this Godzilla. Or this one right here, after we put it on. It should be tremendously taller, but be short like that. And kind of like, very short so look first of all look at the height difference this is huge difference right here we come closer this is he comes up to about his neck right here look at this and so now we'd be looking at an angle down so wow huge difference in height and I'm gonna have them coming at you side by side look at that and then I'll put that uh, tail on shortly. Let's have them right there. There we go. And look at that height difference. Doesn't that look wild? 
Not bad, my friends, not bad. These arms are definitely better to pose and articulate. Let's get his. Pretty outstanding. Okay, let's move this Godzilla aside. And let's just finish off taking a look at his. Um, wow, kind of interesting that, look how his claws on his feet, the middle one kind of curves out in a weird way, just like this one does. But that's not exactly how this one goes. Let me compare those two right now also. Look at this. So this is Godzilla's right foot on the blue one. And it, it doesn't quite turn out the way this one does completely out. Same thing here. This one doesn't really turn out that way very much, but that one definitely does a lot. So I know those are kind of minor, but still something that sticks out to me. And let's go ahead and move on to our mega heat ray projectile. Let's focus on that part now. And you know what? Let's take a look at our little mini soldier real quick. And so if I can get us to come and focus, come on buddy. There we are. Wow, interesting. It's actually got a little more detail than I thought. Because look, this is literally thumbnail size. Wow. Okay, he's running right here. He's got a weapon. We're going to put him down right here. And here are projectile heat ray missiles. So, let's come up here. Let's put this right here in Godzilla's mouth. Let's see how difficult or easy it is. Just pop it right in there. And make sure, okay, there we go, that this is sideways. You see, like this. And it clicks. So, moment of truth. Put him right here. And, oh my gosh. I gotta get him to stand up a second ago. All right, let's aim and fire. Well, <laughs> he definitely bounced over to him. Let's try this again. Put this sideways. And let me actually aim from behind it this time, which probably ain't gonna do much, but here we go. Oof. Went down pretty quickly. So, let's aim a little higher. Here we go. Well, you get the idea. <laughs> it's still shooting out and still pretty cool. So, I'm gonna shoot it sideways so we can see how far it actually comes out. I'll put our Godzilla over here. Let's have it shooting straight out. And let's take a look at that. So, there we go. You can see a relation. How far will it shoot? Let's see. Well, it was that far. So guys, let me know what you think. And once again, to put our other Godzilla that we, um, that we opened right in front of him, there's a substantial size difference. Look at that. Now again, I'm gonna put this tail on. He's gonna be leaning forward more. So it'll be more like this. But uh, just to be honest, it was a little bit difficult to get that tail on. So I'll work at that and then get you updated. But look how awesome that is. Hey, guess what? Quick update. <laughs> I was finally able to get the tail on and let me tell you it definitely took a little bit of coaxing and What I eventually had to end up doing was first. I tried BAM Beating it trying to get it to go in there didn't work and then it started kind of scuffing it up So instead of holding it like this just pulled the legs forward Held this right here and just really got these two sides and just jammed it as hard as I could in there and eventually that's really what got it going. But now you see what it's like when the tail is fully um, inserted into the back. And you know, sorry, I, filming this part after
after the entire review because it was difficult to get the tail in. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna jam this in the middle of the review or at the end, but that's what it took to go in there. So just in case I put this earlier in the review because I did it after, that's what it looked like so that you can at least be sure that eventually we got it in. So, cool, let's move on. So guys, if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please hit that subscribe button now. Hit the notification bell next to it so you get notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know where in the world you're watching from, and yeah, give us a big thumbs up. up. Uh, if you like this video, check out our YouTube channel for more great videos like this. And uh, if you love Godzilla vs. Kong as much as we do, then I'm sure you'll like more videos that we have on our YouTube channel. So guys, again, thanks for hanging out with us here today. Thanks for watching Vince and Gigi's Super Channel G. Peace.